Okay, guys, welcome back to another video. So today um, we're going to be talking about something. I'm on Windows at the moment. Don't worry, I'm not abandoning Linux. Uh, I am abandoning AMD GPUs probably for the next century. It's just not is it's not working out very well. It's it's not just about the whole Ring Zero issue either. Okay, it's it's all of it uh, when to combined into one. It's just it's the instability. I originally got this GPU for you guys so that I could do videos about it. I could do benchmarks and stuff. I could game, you know, try to show off both sides. I showed off my side and I'm done. Getting this GPU was a mistake. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Even I thought it was a mistake uh, right off the get go. And I just, uh, I can't do it anymore just can't so instead i've sold both gpus the graphics card i have in here is gtx 960 it is not good at all i can barely keep fps in runescape and it sucks but the rtx 5070 is ordered and uh i should be able to get back to stability because despite what people believe there's not really any issues with nvidia besides the FPS loss with certain DirectX uh, 12 titles in Linux. And besides that, I'm not really going to have any problems. There is stability. Wayland works just fine. There's a lot of myths that need to be broken, but... In a nutshell, everything is okie-dokie, artichokey. It's not going to be a problem for me. I know there's going to be some naysayers in the comments. There always is. Like, NVIDIA is bad. You only think it's bad because that's what Reddit told you to believe. You only think it's bad because that's what Reddit still thinks. You, you don't think for yourself. You don't ever test. I do. I've lived it. I would always test the GPU. It'd be like, oh, well, they fixed this. They fixed that. They fixed this. I never, ever put it into videos because the amount of effort it would take is just redonkulous. But uh, Gamescope works. No issues with it. Steam Deck UI with Gamescope works. There's no issues with it. I don't have any problems with Wayland. There's no problem with refresh rate. There's no problem with external monitors on laptops. Not that I have any way with the 4070 and the 3070 in my laptop. It's been beautiful. I didn't go to AMD because the NVIDIA side wasn't working well enough for me. I did it because I wanted to see if AMD Mesa finally learned the lesson about regressions, instability, and bugs. They didn't. They didn't. No. When I first got the 9070 XT, it wasn't this broken. There was no ring zero. There was no issues like that. It was around 25.1 that things started to go downhill. 25.2 was a nightmare that caused a lot of problems. And um, even in games like Doom, Dark Ages, the FPS just went doop. It just like halved itself. Like if I installed 25.3, half my FPS would literally be gone. I'd go from 120 FPS down to like 40. I even did this on a live stream one time. It was not good. Where on NVIDIA, the performance is consistent. There's no issues. And I want to get back to that. And I like path tracing. And I like ray tracing. The 9070 XT was great at path bad ray tracing. But it wasn't NVIDIA good. It wasn't even remotely NVIDIA good. So going back to what I know, when I need CUDA most of all for OBS and other things, I learned my lesson. I'm done with it. I can't. I'm not going back to AMD. AMD CPUs are godlike at this moment in time. They're great. Zen 6 is going to destroy worlds. And I just, I, I believe this. I know this to be true. And their GPUs, they leave a lot to desire. Older ones, fine. But even 7900 XDX is starting to creep on with Ring Zero. I see it in Messel issues every day. I'm subscribed to them. I literally, half of my email... And I'm like, oh, someone commented on my Ring Zero post. Oh, uh, this guy also has Ring Zero? Really? That's weird. 
because I thought it was like just to the 9070 XT, but apparently not. So that's 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 the weird part, right? It's like it's slowly infecting backwards. And I don't like Ring Zero. They don't know what causes it. They don't know how to solve it. And I think I think it's just it's not a cache OS issue either, because it started to slowly infect Arch Linux. And there's been people that have been reporting it on the Steam Deck as well. And other handheld devices that use AMD GPUs. It seems to be either something to do with the kernel or something very specific in Mesa that's causing the problem. I can't figure out what it was. Because if I go to the 9. Dot, if I go to what is it, 6.14 kernel, it doesn't exist. Okay? If I go to the 6.14 kernel, it doesn't exist. 6.15 kernel, it would happen every six hours. 6.16 kernel will happen every 20 minutes. 6.17 kernel. It, it, it would happen randomly out of nowhere. Sorry, I had to. Uh, but it does not happen to NVIDIA. It's not an issue. And I'm the only one that's going back to NVIDIA. I got a couple of friends of mine that are just tired of AMD as well. So, yeah, I don't I don't like that. That's just not nice. The, the, the amount of kernel regressions that are affecting my GPU is just not okay. And I know, I know. It doesn't happen on your machine, but I can't ship your machine. I don't have ownership of your machine. There's, I could copy your hardware, sure, but it doesn't guarantee that it's your machine, that it won't happen on that specific hardware setup. It's not my motherboard. I have the latest updated BIOS. I've been talking back and forth with MSI to see if there's anything that they've done to the BIOS that would affect or cause this issue. There's not. They haven't done anything. They're currently working on stability about Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and other things because those are the bugs that I reported. So it's not a motherboard issue. It's not a GPU issue or a vBIOS issue, okay? Um, my vBIOS was fine. It was not corrupted. I did a check. I even I even flashed the vBIOS to be a Nitro Plus card. By the way, that gave me a good amount of FPS, right? That was like five or six FPS just from a simple overclock. That's beautiful. Temps didn't go up much either. But uh, that didn't solve the problem. I flashed an ASUS BIOS. Didn't solve the problem. I flashed a Gigabyte BIOS. It didn't solve the problem. So it's not vBIOS related. And then I put back the Nitro Plus because, well, if I'm going to sell the card, I'm going to give the new owners a good little boost of performance. It's just all around problematic. It's It has to be kernel related. It has to be Mesa related at the same time, or it's just kernel related and it's so bad it's affecting Mesa. I just, I can't nail it down. I can't pinpoint it. I don't know anybody who can. Oh, I know someone who can, but he doesn't have this problem. That's the problem. He doesn't have this issue at all. But the, I'm hoping he gets it, not to be cynical or mean or anything, but I hope he gets it because this man is a demon. This man is incredible when it comes to hunting down regressions. So kind of the only hope you guys have at this point in time, because I doubt there's anybody actually looking to solve this problem. I hope for the best though. Yeah, huh. I think a good eight minute talk is enough. So the RTX 5070 Ti is confirmed. I made sure because I like to message customer support and like, did this go through? And I'm like, yeah, you're good to go. And I'm like, ha, ah, I need to ask them when it's going to ship out because I'm hoping to get it before Monday or at least on Monday because I don't want to go too long using this graphics card. I'm going to need it. I need to give it a good cleaning. I need to give it a good thermal pasting and uh, I think it should be good. It's not that bad either. Barely runs anything, but that's just because it's a, it's a 960. Yeah. So I'm stuck on Windows till then. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. As long as my Windows doesn't look like Windows, I barely even notice the difference. Okay. Uh, if you're new here, you're coming across this issue. Don't worry. Don't be scared. If it hits you, it hits you. Uh, report about it on the mess of GitHub. Do something. I don't know anything. I will see you guys in the next video. I don't know when. I'm going to try soon.
But um, there it is. Wondering what's going on. That's what's going on. Back on Linux pretty soon, nonetheless. Bye, everybody. Can't wait for October the 10th. Battlefield! Mm -hmm. Bye.